in the fifth grade, my my family and I moved from Wilmington, California to Tribuco Canyon, California. Um, these two cities were, were worlds apart, although they were in the same state. Uh, Wilmington is an urban area and it it was marked by semi-truck containers basically lined up in our backyard. The streets were far more narrow and and the streets were rather dirty. Tribuco Canyon, on the other hand, um, it was the opposite. Large streets, mostly wilderness. It was unbuilt. It was a beautiful area. I mean, lots of natural beauty there and streets were clean. And uh, because it was so far, though, my parents had to commute a long way to get there, 50 miles plus. And, and so they made that commute every single day, especially in the summers. It, it was boring. Um, there was lots of mischief, mischief and mayhem to get into. And, and that was my life for the summers. My life were, was my life. At least my summers were memorable. Summers as a kid meant so much to me. Um, apparently, though, I'm not the only one that has summers at the core of their heart. Gary Soto also seems to have a nostalgia for the summers. The summers he recalls were full of antics and boredom, like mine. The summers he recalls were filled with danger and loneliness, like mine. And so those experiences were attached to the, his summers. And Soto took uh, us on, in this book, he took us on a nostalgic trip back to our summer days. And he writes about sibling dynamics and interactions that he had with his mother. This book took me right back to my summer days. And it was nostalgic. Soto teaches uh, through this book that there's value in reminding ourselves of our youth there's value in the lessons that we learn from our youth. Uh, so really remember your youth.